Is everything okay? Apparently, Natalie has met someone. What? Didn't expect it. It just happened. That's how she put it. I had to read it twice. You know the rest. Wait, wait a minute. Does this mean she, she wants to be with another guy? I, uh... It would seem so. Okay, well, what about your son? P.S. John, if you care about Liam, you will honor the restraining order and stay away. Oh, come on, that's unfair. Yeah, it's also not going to happen. You know, I'm going to keep fighting for my son. I'm going to get my visitation. Okay. Natalie's made her choice. She can't keep me from Liam. As far as our relationship goes, it's over. I'm on my own again. That makes two of us. Sam and I ran into each other on our anniversary at the restaurant where we got married. Fate? Yeah, you know, the people who owned the place thought we showed up to celebrate. You know, we didn't want to disappoint them, so we, you know, we had dinner together and we talked and that's when I saw the, the papers, and Sam wanted to tell me something about him, and at the same time, I got a text from McBain about the DNA, and I, I just, I left without the papers. On purpose? No, Sam and I both agree that this divorce has to happen. I just, I wasn't expecting her to follow up last night. I think I know why she did. Deliver the divorce papers? Not when you think. I mean, I've, I'm, I meant to, but I got sidetracked anyway. I, yeah, I, I gave them to him last night. Look, I know we talked about this. Are you sure this is what you want? No. But it has to happen. I overheard something at the bachelorette party. About? Jason. Yeah, about Jason. I mean, just like the letter told you where you stand with Natalie. I know where I stand with Jason. You know why Sam served me the papers when she did? I have always had feelings for Jason. But I am not going to be the one to come in between Jason and Sam. But he assured me it was okay. He said that things are going to be over between them and that I have nothing to feel guilty about. Something happened last night at the bachelorette party. I overheard Elizabeth telling someone that she and Jason had kissed. I thought you already knew there was something going on. No, I, I, I did. But after everything that's happened between Jason and I recently and now I, th I thought we were reconnecting or whatever you want to call it, I assumed that whatever was going on between me and Elizabeth was over. But I was wrong. I hate to be the one to tell you this, Jason, but Sam is dating John McBain. I mean, I honestly thought that things had changed. I mean, not that Jason and I don't have a lot to work through, because we do, but I just, I thought there was hope, you know? Yeah, I know. Now it's gone. So the night of our anniversary, Sam was already with me, Bane. I don't know when it started, but after everything you've done for Sam, it isn't fair. Now what isn't fair is Sam losing her son in the first place. That's why I did what I did. You know, not not to get Sam back. I just I just always wanted her to have the chance to be a mother. And now she's never going to get that chance. Jason, are you sure about this? <sighs> Let me get my coat so we can get out of here. Thanks. Thanks for what? For uh, being honest. It means more than you know.
Oh, Damien, you have to try one of these. You call him Damien? It, it is my name. You're Spinelli. Are you insane? He can't eat that. There's shellfish in there. He's allergic. Oh, well, are these actually made from a decapod crustacean of the infraorder Brachyura? Is that English? Wait, she's only asking because if not, it may actually not be true crap. In which case, the histamine levels are much lower. Yes. Ellie's mind is amazing, is it not? Ellie and Spinelli. I am amazed. Excuse me, I have to go make sure everyone gets crabs. I know this looks a little shady. Looks? Okay, it's not like this relationship was a, a big plot from Bull. the beginning. You knew who I was at Yale. You definitely knew my father Come was. On, everyone did. Everyone's not you. Everyone didn't approach some sad, poor mob princess in a diner to suggest a reality show. You expect me to believe that was legit? Yes. Yes, I knew you were pissed at your parents, and, and I wanted to make a name for myself. Okay? Of course, I knew who your family was. It was mine that I really had no clue about. My dad, he kept me in the dark. Until he didn't. When did you find out? That he was in the mob? And he knew my father. Not until I went to go visit him in jail. That was months ago. You've been lying to my face ever since. What's wrong? You look tense. Nah, it's just uh, something's been bothering me. I, I tried to reach you last night and I couldn't get through. Oh, I'm so sorry. I turned off my phone. I was just trying to relax. The, the argument, you know, the argument you had with Trey? Speaking of not relaxing. What was it about? Are you serious? Sonny, I told you it was just about him marrying Christina. I disapproved, to say the least. That's it? What else? Well, he, he, he implied there was more to it than that. You're not leaving anything out, right? Jocelyn and Mercedes are all set. And, oh! Doesn't that look like... Don't you think she looks just like... <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, come on. We gotta go. Don't want to be late for Kate and Sonny's wedding. Don't want to upset the bride. I love you. Never forget. I won't. Hey, come on. What's going on? I mean, last night you wanted me to run away with you and so incredibly romantic, but completely out of left field. It's just a crazy idea. I'm just so happy to be alive. Happy to be with you. Me too. Let's go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I didn't lie because I wanted to. I lied because my father ordered me to. What are you, 12? I was in shock. Okay, my entire world had just been turned upside down. What about my world, Trey? The one where I married you? It wasn't so your father he had his investment back, was it? Was it? No. So he asked you to marry me? Oh, no, I'm sorry, he ordered you to marry me? Why? To get back at your father. Okay, something did happen in my conversation with Trey, but I didn't have the heart to tell you. What was it? He said horrible things about you. It was hard enough to hear them, let alone repeat them back to you. That's all that happened? I'm very sorry, Sonny. I never meant to, to keep it from you. I just didn't want to make you angrier. Why does he have to do this today of all days? Hey, hey, hey. No trouble. <sighs> Are you sure? Feels like there's something else you want to say. Ah, that's it. It's, it can wait. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> now get out of here. I got an altar to get to. Oh, well, I think I got one too. <laughs> Get it, alter? I crack myself up. Hey, hey. I just saw Sonny leave. You been crying? Oh, just happy tears. Hey, would you mind if I just had a few minutes to myself? Of course, honey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're just 
Let me know if you need any help with that dress, okay? I will. I didn't think you were going to bring him. Uh, well, actually, I'm with Johnny. Kate asked him to be here. Today? Believe me, it wasn't exactly on the top of my things to do list. But no one's making you stay, Johnny. This is a special occasion. Okay, well, all right. Why don't we take this opportunity to bury the hatchet? Sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. Thank you. Great. I'm going to back and check on something. Okay. Excuse me. So I, I told Maxie that there could be no rekindling of our friendship until we were both otherwise occupied. Romantically, that is. And are you occupied? That remains to be seen. Well, that sounds complicated. Well, actually, it's, it's, it's quite simple. Um, we began as friends, uh, became non-spouses, then non-exes, and now she's married. She is? Where's her husband? Uh, in prison for manslaughter. She calls him Damon. So? I don't know. I don't like it. Hey, I'm really sorry about Natalie. Should have known something else was going on. I guess in some way I should have seen this coming. Come on, it's not going to make it hurt any less. It should hurt, Sam. It's lost something very valuable to me. And when you lose something that you thought you could build your life around, you know, once you get past the blame and who did what to who, you're just left with that person, you know, the, the person you were in love with, the one that you had this rare connection with. And this is gone. And you're left... You're left trying to figure out what comes next. Ready? Hey, Elizabeth, you ready? No. Well, um, if, if we don't leave now, we're gonna miss the whole. I have to tell you something. You okay? No. Jason, the last few months have been really crazy, and uh, I'm not even recognizing myself what's, right what's, now. What's and going on? There's just a lot of things. Jason, I lied to you. 